every single detail matters during rivalry weekend, including outdressing your opponent, your heated rival. That's what we're going to do here on Gear Up today. Absolutely. Listen, beating them in your gear is definitely a win. Aaron Dodson always brings us the best unis that we're going to see this week. Watch us, walk us through, which makes each one special. So we're going to start in the Palmetto State, Carolina, South Carolina clubs at 730 Eastern ESPN. What are the game cocks? Right? Matt, senior day means the seniors pick the swag, black helmet, garnet jersey, garnet pants. This is the first time ever that the team has worn this combination. Looking forward to the Iron Bowl, but this kind of looks like an Auburn uniform we typically see, Aaron. Like a couple teams in the SEC, Auburn doesn't really switch it up. This is their traditional home combination, white helmet, blue jersey, and white pants. Let me say, classic is always good in college football. The last time we saw the Buckeyes dress up, they did so against Penn State. What are they wearing against Michigan today? Against Penn State, they wore all gray. They're going all white with this special helmet with the Buckeye wolf pattern. You also see it in the numbers and on the socks. I also see the LeBrons. What are we doing? Oh, there. Yeah. Nike, LeBron, Soldier 11, Cleese. This is the third time that they've worn them this season. Every time they get a different colorway. Okay. The Badgers and the Gophers, they're battling for Paul Bunyan's act. So how has Wisconsin been inspired by that? This is the longest played rivalry in the FBS between Minnesota and Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is channeling their inner Paul Bunyan, my favorite lumberjack, with the plaid accessories on the sleeves, gloves, and the cleats. Paul Bunyan definitely a one seed in lumberjack brackets. Air Force Academy, Utah State, what are they wearing? This is a special alternate all gray uniform for Air Force. What about the helmets? I understand there's something special with all of the helmets today. The helmets is a part of the Air Power Legacy Series that started last year. They brought it back this year. There's five different helmets designed after the helmets that pilots wear in the F-35 combat aircraft. On one side of the helmet is an Air Force logo that's on every plane, and on the other side you see different decals representing different squadrons of the aircraft. All right, SMU taking on Tulane. Why are they going all black? Ask and you shall receive at SMU. The players really wanted to go all black, and head coach Chad Morris delivered with this combination. I got to say, though, they had me at that shiny helmet. So what's going on with the chrome dome? Red chrome helmet. You see the pony on one side and the Dallas skyline inside the pony. And then on the back is a special decal honoring the victims of the Sutherland Springs church shooting earlier this month. Nice touch by SMU. They're taking on Tulane, of course, which is based in New Orleans, as is the Bayou Classic. Grambling and Southern, both of these teams side by side. What are they wearing? For the first time this season, Grambling is breaking out its blackout combination, and they're playing against Southern, who's wearing all white. It's the 20-year anniversary of their 1997 HBCU National Championship team, so they're throwing it back with this combination. The OG of sick uniforms in college football, Oregon. What are they wearing in Civil War? I smile every time I see this on the neckline. Once a duck, always a duck. That's the name of this combination. It was designed in honor of the uniform that their mascot wears. And Oregon is always known for their helmets. This is a thunder green anodized helmet. Pretty Final sweet. regular season Saturday, and you thought Oregon was ducking us.